And we're only shooting through one window at a time? Uh, or, yeah. or can so. you shoot from like here to like here? Uh, oh, I think that's fine, but it's not like because it's the same building, I guess. <coughs> I think it's fine to shoot through here to here. Okay. Um, then that is good to have asked. Beep, bop, boop. Got me prone here. Hey there, how's it going? Cool. All right, so we're good there. By the way, you're gonna do the same thing. I don't know how Clint sets up his um, tabletop throwdown things, but I cannot see the game. Okay. Like he's, I'm in, I'm in the chat right in Vols League so I can hear them but when I go to Tabletop Throwdown or sorry when I go to Tabletop Simulator yes yes uh, should be Garrett I see you. No, oh, unfortunately, it's saying play, playing Devil Sub Simulator. Join the game. There it is. Okay, perfect. Let's see if this will work. Uh, you know what? I'll just take away all sorts of stuff. That's just as good. 
uh, password is <laughs> uh, looks like it works yes <laughs> what a uh, scenario are they playing okay um, did they has he changed that since the last time I played it let me look um, yeah, sure. I think I was one of the first people to play Vulan, actually, when he joined up. Oh, nice. Okay. Sure. Yep, I'm ready. go yes, greetings friends welcome back to tabletop simulator we are here again with another run in, in our in our kind of spree of clint plays volleys league uh and today we are playing finish line we have clint himself playing vanilla combined as he has been these few, last few weeks and he's playing against a one vulin uh who is playing vanilla panaceania and uh, it should be fun. This map looks kind of crazy, actually. It's and nice to see Bella Pano on the table. I haven't seen those in yeah. a while. Oh, and once again, we have the illustrious Lobo here filling in for Clint for the week. <laughs> I expect that, that this series will probably run until, uh, I think next week is the last week, I'm betting. Tiny letters. Um, but I will be gone, so Clint will be broadcasting that week. And uh, we'll see if after that we'll probably get back to our normal oh, stuff but for now there. we get to we get to see some some weird missions which i've yeah, i've enjoyed i've played yeah. frontline before i mean i uh, finished line before yep. yep and i feel like i brought a sujan and it wasn't very hard I'm trying to figure out <laughs> <laughs> it's a good data tracker for this mission yes it uh, sujans are always kind of exceptional for that purpose um mm. but god this this it, this map looks like i guess it could tron have, uh, Takes over a Japanese suburb. <laughs> I'd watch that movie. I I mean I feel like we probably have watched that movie <laughs> at least once somewhere. Oh man, how have you been, Lobo? I'm doing very well. Um, playing in a the great North American tabletop simulator league, which is cool. Gets a, a lot of West Coast players. Always excellent, excellent opponents. That's good. Um, and uh, apart from that, I, I have an in-person tournament coming up in next month. So, I I have one next Sunday. That's why I won't be here. I'm oh. I'm hyped for it. We're we're prepping for Salt Lake Showdown. You're gonna be playing company. Yeah, we're playing white company. Uh, they, they put up a list. They're like, we want as many unique armies as possible, and nobody's playing white company. I'm like, well, say no more. <laughs> but. I, I mean, I'm excited for all that, and I'll probably talk about that more as as things get closer to that. Maybe maybe I'll demand that Clint cast me playing a game, get some practice in. <laughs> sure. That would be fun. Okay. But today, is... we have Clint on his combined army. He won the lieutenant role, and he is he going first, and he has opted to spend a command out. token to hold an additional person back. Um, which means it's time to kind of go look at uh, his That's list. A good point. Also, Divok, how you doing? 
And the other thing was the... <laughs> yes, the other thing was Excellent. <laughs> We're doing well. I just got back from you know, New Orleans, I've actually. Getting so that, and like that was that was a fun time. <laughs> I've enjoyed you. that a great deal. No problem. All right, let's take a look at the list. So, Keep myself focused. Right, I get a free repeater somewhere. There we go. All right, so Clint has brought um, the Caronted. He's doing it. He's doing it again. Let's he's doing it again, Lobo, but different this time. Where, where the, it could drop yes, here. I was going to ask. I think Vol allows you to switch your lists up completely from week to week. Correct. Correct. Yeah, that oh. that that is the case. Um, he, it, but, I mean that. I have strong opinions on that. I'm okay with switching up week to week, but I hate doing it before you know what your opponent's playing. Mm -hmm. So, like, because I remember one of the leagues that I played, I actually streamed that league. Uh, I was playing JSA. And let me tell you, I faced more MSV than I've ever faced in any set of lists in any tournament I've played in. Yes. I imagine if you're Ariadna, you face a lot of similar issues. <laughs> yeah, and it's like that. I feel like that... The factions that rely on those mechanics need people to not just, like, build against it. There's a lot of other factions that, like, like Vanilla Pano. You probably don't care that much because you're just like, I don't know, I'll shoot my way out. But when it comes to some, like, certain factions, people being able to bring specialist problem solvers can be very problematic. Like, if you're playing Shoss and your opponent goes first and he brought two biometric visors, it's like, all right, well, this doesn't feel like the same game. Yes. Uh, that being said, that being said, I do like that you get to swap it up for every every week because, I mean, that those are that's my favorite thing about Infinity is I play one billion different things, <laughs> so I I like seeing different armies every week. In this case, Clint is still bringing the Karantid, but he's bringing the other version that I thought he should have had for the other map, <laughs> which is that this time he has the Karantid ha Hacker Lieutenant. Interesting. Okay. He, I mean, he's plasma just... rifle, plasma rifle instead of the heavy machine gun. Can I yep. look at all the stuff? And upgrade plus one oh, yeah. damage to all of his programs. Bringing which is kind of wild. Against me, right? That's rude. Yeah, I mean, it'd be very useful if Rulin brings some tags, which Vanilla Pano, I would expect one. I mean, I I see he's starting to 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 deploy, and I see at least one HI. So there's the target. <laughs> and we'll get to that. I actually really enjoy his <laughs> his diverse. It makes me very happy. <laughs> All right. Um, so, Karantin. Hacking Device Plus with plus one damage on all the effects. It's a plasma rifle. This guy's a crazy infighter. Like, the plasma rifle we know is a oh, good gun, right. dropping templates. But also, having the ability to go into a marker state is an excellent hacker at whip 16 with BTS 6. It could be a big problem. I think the the Karantid is one of the premier reasons to play vanilla combined of all things. And I I expect to see some of that today. Um then we have a speculo. They're just annoying. They're just really annoying. They're very good. Find <laughs> an important target and eliminate it. Yep. Nobody does it better. Um, let's see. And then we have Bit and Kiss. The, they they show up everywhere, right? Yep. Um, two Dadarazi, two Ekadrons, a Liberto, Mine Layer, everybody knows him. Two Imitrons. And then or we have some Spy. Oh, go ahead. The the, as I like to call it, the combined army party pack. It's, you <laughs> see, they... every vanilla list has the double dat, the double Ekadron, the double Imitron, and the Liberto. Yeah. It's just those seven slots are taken. <laughs> And it's like, what, uh, 8, 16, 34. The Dadarazi are expensive and bring you up to like 70 points for those seven, yeah. seven orders. But you're still paying average fusilier prices for some really quality pieces. Mm -hmm. Like, sure, Ikadron doesn't do much, but like you just have flamethrowers in your backfield. That's enough. That's enough. And a repeater. And repeaters. We, I mean, points at Karantid, right? Mm -hmm. And I guess... <clears throat> sorry. And I guess bit as well. Um, definitely have some of that going on. Yeah, dude. White Company is the business. Share a list later and we'll take a look at it, Defog. They're great. All right. And then, so like you said, 
they have repeaters and Dadaraze and Imitron. Like, it's, it's a question of, like, why does it exist? And Combined, I feel, was, was built around the... Like, Combined and Yuxing do similar things in terms of they bring a lot of cheap stuff just to bring the expensive stuff. That, that's yeah. kind of the big thing. But next on the list in Group 2, we have the Spice, which is the Sogorat, which, I mean, I love seeing these guys. They're so tough. You very, very rarely do, though. I mean, I'm not saying they're bad. It's just, when was the last time you saw someone take a Sogorat? Well, they made the um, the machine gun Suryat so appealing. Mm -hmm. It's very hard to argue, like, go to the next level, but I'm happy to see him here. Armor 6, BTS 6, 3 wounds. Like, I don't I <laughs> He can't be oblivion He's good in melee, or I mean, he's okay in melee, actually. <laughs> CC20 is fine. It's, yes, it's fine. okay. <laughs> if he hits somebody who's not good in melee, he'll probably win. So. Um, and uh, then a plus burst Fuerbach is a hell of a gun yeah, but, you know, with, with plus damage. <laughs> so it's damage 15. Like, to whom it concerns. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure, I mean, my guess is that's going to be his data tracker. Um, or the Karantid. I mean, I guess the, you can't go into... So what's the Karantid's movement? Still 4-4? Four, four? Yeah. Hmm. I can see either one being a fine choice. I think the Karantid can get up field better. Um, but it might have a bit more of a target on its back. Well, it, it can be Oblivion. It can be... Um... I mean, granted, it has its own defense, right? By being able to be tra yeah. you know, trendy back, but... Well, or no, it does, does this have the upgrade Trinity or no? It is no, just upgrade to damage to all of its programs. So okay. like it, Oblivion damage seventeen. Yeah, it, it, you say it'll be Oblivion. It's like I think it's going to be do, like I am the one who knocks. Like <laughs> it's not a question of oh no, he might be hacked. Like no, he's going to hack hack you. You will be hacked. <laughs> Shows up to Jazz and says, "Say my name." <laughs> say my name. Absolutely. All right. Um, so yeah, it could be the Sograt, could be him. He's got the med tech with the uh, with the slave drone, which I I think is I mean, what fourteen double, right? It you can't argue with it. I think the slave drone is mandatory with the doctor. Yeah. With if the you doctor. take one, you take the other. Like if you're gonna invest twenty two, go to twenty five. Mm -hmm. Totally worth it. You want to be in two places at once. And then we have just some more. I mean, we have the the missile bot for. Um, Dadarazai being jerks. I mean, not Dadarazai, um, the Kronta being a jerk. And then we have two more kind of chaff pieces. So, I mean, all the power here is clearly in Kronta, Sogorat, Speculo. And that's, like, where all the power is, right? I mean, I guess Bitten Kiss, but I don't treat them the same. Yeah, I mean, I, he's relying on the so I mean, if, if there's, a like, a tough ARO piece, he's basically relying on the Sagarat or... Pitcher, spotlight, missile. Yeah. Take care of it. Which I mean is not a bad idea. I mean we already see across I, I don't mind that slight spoiler. I see a standing Carhus uh Fuerbach. <laughs> so I think I think that's the one that we're thinking of. I think that's the yep. just but we'll go back to that in a second. Alright. Um and then let's go see what vanilla pan is bringing. We have uh, the Exilia, the, the the representatives from NCA, <laughs> being like, ah, don't forget about us. We we are cheap and bring flamethrowers and specialists, not good ones, but specialists <laughs> and deployable repeaters. They have deployable repeaters. Yep. Why don't more people play Vanilla Pan on these days? Okay, then the so good. All right. The, uh, yeah, I mean site. that's a lot of tools for 15 points. Being a specialist and a direct template with that's on a peripheral, and having like a combi and deployable repeat, <laughs> what a fun unit. Although it doesn't look like he took a hacker to to use that repeater at all. I mean, th that's the trick. I, I I didn't even know it had no deployable repeater because I liked it for everything else. Gotcha. <laughs> it's it's like the the package is very good, and like other factions would die to have this unit. You know what I mean? Uh, mm -hmm. Like, how much would Nomads love to have that? that? No, I'm good. Um, It'd be perfect for them. Am I seeing... Yeah. How many things? Uh, so I like Moran better, but it's still... These are still really good. Okay. <laughs> we have both. We have both. You take them. <laughs> 15 points. Cheaper. 
than a, than a Moran. But you're right, Morans are better. And all right, Carhu plus uh, plus versus Werbach, AP mines. I mean, I think it's daring leaving this guy up. He is definitely an active turn piece. Yeah. I. He's not in a link team. You know what I mean? Like yeah, if he were just to be the different. Werbach. I mean, he has a good angle, but it's like that angle should be held. Like I don't mind mentioning, he has a Nissa, right? Mm -hmm. That's that's way down on the list. He's a Nissa multi sniper, uh, and he is, is both of them kind of doing Overwatch in different angles. Mm -hmm. okay. And I'll I'll address in a second. Anyway, um, Carhu's real powerful. Climbing plus NCO, MSV one, Mimetism. They have like all the all the things you want, and he moves six two. He's so fast. So I mean I, I if he doesn't oh if he doesn't get like popped I'm I'm expecting great things from him. All right let's see. Helots. I feel like I've not seen Bruno in like a hot minute. I haven't seen Pano. The only Pano I see on Tabletop Simulator, at least in the places I play, are military orders. Nobody plays anything else. At least against me, I'm sure somebody does. Like, but like I feel like people. Like they forgot about Dre. They forgot about. <laughs> they forgot about how good Varuna is, mm -hmm. right? Like Varuna's still exceptional, right? Yes, a hundred percent. But it's just baffling to me that like we never see him. So it's like when I see Hella, I was like, oh right, those are in this game. What was <laughs> I thinking? I forgot. They're so good. Like light rockets on neurosynetics on cheap models. Perfect. And Verna would get three, and they they still have the spooky MSV2 super sniper, right? They they have. Sure. I'll it's go baffling there. to me that oh, we're not seeing more. Guy, it's probably a terrible idea. Yeah, we also okay. see further down the list a Zulu it's Cobra. A what an exceptional piece. And then fear box Especially the assault <laughs> pistol one. Mm -hmm. I don't know, man. It's weird. But maybe we'll see more. Hear that out there? Bring Verna to your games. Tell me about why I'm wrong. Why aren't people bringing this wonderful faction? We had two Krakots, which are good. I can't see this what did they roll? Let's see. One got plus three pH. Yeah, good, 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 good. What did the other guy get? Uh, where are they? Ah, the other one got NWI. Those are good ones to get. All right. Neat. Let's see. And then we have a Teutonic Knight, who is a lieutenant, and... I mean, he's just the lieutenant because he's tough to kill. Yep. I mean, you can't really... He's cheap, too, right? What is he? 19 points for a two-wound super dodgy boy? You're never killing this guy. Yep. And a shotgun. And a shotgun, yep. So even if you get close... Like, it's like basically a specular bust. Like, nothing's going to hunt him down. Mm -hmm. He's just going to dodge around corners. <clears throat> Sorry. I have water for a reason, was it? All right, that is actually much better. Now we have Jefferson. Oh my God, what what a good model that guy is. Sometimes you forget that like the OG guys are still incredibly good at this. <laughs> so like in this case, I can see Jefferson on an active turn if the uh, Karanta doesn't end in a marker state. Jefferson could just himself walk over there and like hack him to death. Well, that's true. I forgot Jefferson was a hacker. So he does have a hacker to take advantage of those deployable workers. Yeah, he's got hacking device and Trinity. Making all with Whip 14 and BTS 6, like he can legitimately in the actor turn, he would likely be the Karantid. Like you open through a repeater, with... yeah, 100. percent Yeah, I mean, but even even not through the repeater, the the burst advantage will put you above this the the whip difference, I think. Especially if you're dropping like Trinity, where you get bonuses and they don't. Yeah, he's three at 17s versus one on 16. Yeah, I think that that seems very reasonable. Um, and then great melee, good shooter, two wounds. He's a good piece, <laughs> and 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 he fits a lot in in uh, uh, Vanilla Pano's uh, plan as well. Okay, so you know I mean, <laughs> I don't just... all right. And then we have the Nissa Sniper, like I mentioned. Going to group two, we have a sensor bot, two Fugazis, a peacemaker, and a, and what Pano calls a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> so if you are um, 
Vulin, do you think the Furzen is your data tracker? It can and be not, impetuous, right? Yes. They're probably not the Krakow. They're still just for four. The first one's the safest one. He has stealth, even. He just he doesn't even get hacked in in the the repeaters. Mm -hmm. You just move move him to the very edge of the map, especially if Combine is doing a really defensive deployment. Maybe get discovered like one more time. Yeah, I think I think it definitely needs to be the first one. And he's good at it too. I think that's a solid choice. All right, let's get you guys back looking at the game. Okay. We can go through their deployments. Stuff deployed then. Cool. Gonna kill we go. the grid. Um, and we need to choose the. All right. So let's go real quick. Go over the combined deployment. Um, do I pick we have Imatron, Datarazi, Ikadron. Taiga, Missilebot. Up here we have the mine's, Liberto mine's kind of just in the middle. I, Next to his yeah, HUT. Right here we have the other Ikadron. So, and then the Medtech. So the uh, left side is broadly just kind of chaff. I think he's doing his last appointment now. Yeah. Um, oh, he, he just he's did them. All right, cool. Um, Up in the building we have <laughs> Bit and Kiss and the Sogra just yes. got placed prone. Um, your purple stuff is prone. Down here purple we have another Dadarazi. Over to the right, we have the uh, other Amatron hiding in the classic two, drone spot. <laughs> I mean, really, like, I can't think of... I try not to put those little corners there anymore on my maps, just because I hate yeah, the drone I... spots. <laughs> I think it's just dumb. And then up here, we have the Karantid, the slave drone, and other Dadarazi. And then all over here, the, he, it's funny, he, they placed the Speculo first, and then the other guy put the, uh, the Peacemaker just, like, blocking any movement from him. <laughs> <laughs> just like na na na, you fight me or or do nothing. Which the speculator can get out of, but he's gonna open with the discovers, and it prevents him from getting much more than the peacemaker. Which I think is totally reasonable. Yeah, I think he even could have already dope. He could have shifted a little bit exactly, because I think Clint can just move sort of diagonally away towards that crack out. Good luck. And he can go on the on the. Box behind uh, him and then around. The like he's not trapped by any means. Do you see yeah, he is. I guess slightly taller than that box. He just vaults mm -hmm. up. Absolutely. And then let's take a look at the the. I mean, like I said, the deployment for Pano is he's got the Krakot. He put the Peacemaker to surround this here Speculo. We have an Oxbot flamethrower next to the Auxilia, next to a Powbot that is the Traumadoc. That Carhu went prone. I'm so pleased by that decision. Yes. It's so it's in such a commanding uh, spot that Clint can't leave anybody in the wind. And if if there's no good targets, he just climbing pluses. He just leaves. Mm -hmm. Right like, down the building. It's perfect. I'm gonna wait. Let's everyone appreciate the first in this Arthur, man, King of the Realm, King of the Britons. Uh, He's got his little crown. Uh, it pleases me, uh, me and Arthurian legend fan so very much. <laughs> we have the Fugazi over here. We have the Pathfinder drone bot, so this is the sensor bot. I know it looks like a Fugazi, but it's not. There's a lieutenant over here. He's, he's this angry other knight. I, I'm loving these chainmail pano knights. I mean, it doesn't make sense long term, but like, I don't know. I, I'm, a, I'm a knight weeb. I love it. <laughs> Especially since it's all Monty Python, so. Oh, absolutely. Let's see. We have the Vista. Since Clint is not here, we can talk about Monty Python because he doesn't like it. <laughs> but I, uh, I still Sorry, don't know how I we're friends. It was a missile bot or something. <laughs> not a missile bot, a right. CR bot. Um, no, we have the Nissa Multi Sniper who sees down no, the alley. So like less. you can't get up here no, unless you, you go around to here. the trees. That's the but he sees that whole alley. Okay. And he also sees right. this right. long right. angle to the left. So he's gonna throw smoke. So yep. he sees a fair amount of the map, less than the car who would, but it's good cross coverage. Looks like the Fugazi. I just don't like him on the on the on that position where he is. If he gets shot at, he if he goes prone because he's unconscious, he still gets shot and dies. I think if he were like up on the roof where that Fugazi is, if he goes unconscious, he drops below the like the peak of the roof, and then. You can theoretically pick him back up, but I don't know. I, I think my actual issue with it is that that guy's a Nyssa and not a Hexa. Okay. Because like, if he was a Hexa, he'd be in a marker state and hidden deployment. 
So like, I'm not, I'm I, I just feel it. like if you're gonna have a defensive ARO in a vanilla faction and you have access to, to like a TO sniper, I feel like that's gonna be better than yep. the MSV sniper that he has here. Okay. Because this one's a lot more killable. Like you need to choose when you get your engagement for arrows. You know what I mean? So they've started. Uh, can we? Yeah, I'm gonna on that. and find out oh, just who. Uh, let me see one second here. Uh, who? What? Well, what's the question? I might know. He will go. I was gonna ask who their data trackers actually are. Oh yeah. Oh, I Clint. Oh okay, yeah. Um, yep. Well, who are your data trackers? Just so we know. Uh, Defearson we... and Caronted. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Thank you very much. Yep. So about what we guessed, right? Do you want to talk for a brief oh, second about the mission? Yeah, let's talk about it. Or, yeah, if you have it up, go ahead and go I, over the objectives. Okay. So, um, each person has a data tracker, which we've established is the Karantid for Clint uh, and the first one for Vulin. If you get to move your friend, your data tracker into the enemy deployment zone at any time, so as soon as they end in order inside the enemy deployment zone, you get two, two points. If you can move your data tracker into contact with the enemy table edge, the back table edge, it's one further objective point. Um, there are no HVTs. They are designated targets, which are worth one victory point or objective point to kill. This is killable. Yeah. Yep. Uh, there are panoplies. If you get more stuff from the panoplies, one point. If your data tracker is alive at the end of the game, that's another point. If you've killed more army points at the end of the game, that's two points. And then there is the uh, transmission. So the of the three consoles across the middle, the one on the left and the right, are panoplies, those are the ones you get the stuff from, and the one in the middle is a transmission antenna. Dot, 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 if you control that at the end of the game, it's two points. What a so smattering of objectives. Yeah, it's like do everything, um, which is kind of neat. I, I like it. And it's by giving that, controlling the, can the antenna at the end of the game, being worth two points, that gives you a little bit of a, you know, if you have to go second, it gives you a little bit of an advantage to make up for the fact you're going to get alpha strength. Yeah. Because, I mean, Order like in this R case, he might just get alpha strike by the Karantid who just walks to the back. He stands yes. Right? Up. And it's like, and that's already points. It's very, mm -hmm. unlike a lot of other missions, um, this one really benefits the first player, I think. So he Which is, I think, a good thing. I think, personally, all of all those missions do that. They're all, because none of them, most of them are heavy on killing. There's no retreat. It does not exist. A lot of times there's no classifieds. So um, it's just kill, kill, kill. There are a couple that are not, but most of them are first turn has all the advantage. Yeah. And in this case, it being both killing and like slightly push button, because anybody can do the panoply, right? Yes. So specialists um, have no role double, here, do they? Let me just double check that. Hold on. Let me just yeah. double check that. I was going to say, uh, like, if if anybody can put the pan apparently, uh, specialists have no role in this mission. Okay. Uh, yeah, it just says requirements. The trooper must be a base space for the pan apparently. Um, uh, let's see. If you are... Okay, so specialists, if you push it on with a specialist, you can automatically take nano screen instead of what you roll. That's, I mean, that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. I want to see a Karanta with a nano screen now. I mean, I don't because it seems like some sort of war crime, but like, I want to see it. <laughs> right? It would be cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, so so that's so that's one upside to actually having specialists is you get to choose the things you want. Six, seven to six, even. Yep. So three saves, AP. Oh. All right. So we can we can focus on the so. They basically want to get their data tracker across, kill things better, and then do some stuff with the middle buttons, which is a lot of that. Oh, also kill a designated target. Just four things. You know, just four, maybe five things. Uh, so the, the mission started. So I'll do a quick recap of what's happened. Clint has moved some of his Dedarazai around a little bit, and his Taga moved up a bit. And then he moved his Sugarot up the table a bit and shot at the Flashful Spot, who just took a crit and got put out of commission. So this long range line, technically the flashbot could see him between this little gap here that you can see. Um, and I think he's probably going to move up and challenge the Nissa next. I mean, seems like a good tool for that, right? If you're going to choose anyone to fight the the sniper rifle. Of anyone that he has on the table, yeah. Yeah, it's either that or avoid it entirely, which is hard given the commanding position it has. 
come yeah, back. Yeah, because he can't smoke it and move on because of the MSV2. I think this is interesting. Upon seeing his groups, I think I really would have uh, drained two from his Sogorod list or uh, pool because he's only got five. He's got four and then a regular in that pool and one power piece. So it's like those, that could be nearly five, like <laughs> wasted orders if you only gave him three to do with his big shooty piece. Make him come to you. Definitely a valid. It's one of the reasons I tend to run. Like I run a lot of eight seven lists. Mm-hmm. I haven't been doing that for a while. I've been shifting back to to nine six, but never ten five these days, unless I have like a tag. Yeah, might as well try it. Um, so I'm I'm, I'm in agreement there. Real dumb, but... <laughs> Clint, I don't think it's dumb. Can the miss see through that yep, Clint, so Clint is agreeing with your assessment to go and try and challenge the sniper. He's gonna get two shots at it. Oh, shoot. Um, the one question I have is, what's the range on the firebox? Yep, is it with double action? Oh, is it good? Forty or forty or forty, right? It, so it's so good to thirty-two, three. but is oh. zeros be, beyond that? It doesn't go to negatives. So it's okay. actually pretty reasonable at shooting long range. Did you catch that measurement? I looked away. Thirty-four inches. Thirty-four. Okay. Ooh, so it's I got another crit. Okay, you crit land, so that's three saves. Yikes! Because he's what BS thirteen. And it's yep. a death miss save. Minus. Actually, I don't know why he's... I don't think that was a crit. Because he's not in cover. He, they asked that we don't correct. That's who's fine. Not, who's I, not in cover? Okay, the so sniper would not have been in cover. Because he's just standing oh, on top Oh, it of... is a crit then, because it's zero band and then mimetism. Oh, okay. Here's mimetism. Okay, sorry. But you're right. I, I mean, and that's another reason why perhaps that location is uh, more vulnerable. Like, he could have done very... Similar things if he was on the balcony a little ahead of it. Not where he currently is, that's for sure. Yeah. And just have cover, but I didn't consider that, like, sure, you see that long angle. Thing. Do you see the van next to Teutonic Knight? Yeah. Or, like, if he had just been up, posted up on the corner of that van, uh, I will like, diagonally him. right from the knight, he still would have covered sort of the same, that long angle di diagonally. I hate that I can't, like, gesture with this gray hand. Um, that's actually something that, um, here, we Clint can fix that. He used to give me a green hand for that purpose. Um, okay. we, can, we can get you one. When it's um, not Clint's turn, I'll ask him to do that. Sure. But yeah, if he's po like if if you see where the Teutonic Knight is, slide diagonally right up towards the edge of that van. Like here. Plop down. I can't see you either. But oh, okay, gotcha. Just to the uh, right corner of it, where he sees to the yeah. right and to the left. I would be worried about not getting cover from the right then, right? I think if you... Because I don't think... If you want to see left, you have to be kind of on the back of the van, not on the back corner. Nope, not yet. I will spend... Yeah, I guess there's Cause, a... Because it's a big wall there. I, I think it's probably just a case of... Choosing... Pick one. Yeah, pick, pick, one, pick a poison. Yeah. And anyway, that was a good turn of fortune for the Sogorot. Did he back it up, it looks like? Yeah, he spent his last couple orders backing away. Uh, I, don't like, I don't like that. I liked where it was. Well, I guess because where he was, he was kind of protected from the Fuerbach. The Fuerbach would have had to shift down and around to see it. And he has like... I guess watching the side is fine. Pulsar is a hell of a thing. He's still he's still backing up more. Well, alright. If he's backing up any, I'm glad he's backing up more. I don't think I'll be able to... Well, he's going to do nothing else. So he will move again. Oh no. On top of the boost here. I'm getting this thing. Alright, so so he's watching the flank here. Or to here. Mm -hmm. Sure. Um, I all right. think if it moves there, the ox bot will see it. Yeah, I'm but... not scared of the ox bot. Yeah, alright, that's super yeah. reasonable because now he can't uh -huh. freely maneuver around the speculo. Going to look at it from the front. Yep. And while that Crocot could Someday, take a shot at him, I don't think it wants to fight him. <laughs> and he watches that upper level as well, uh, like watching into there from that cool. window. Cool, now I got group one stuff. Okay, cool. Like this. Crunted <sighs> moved up, I'm guessing, using a lieutenant order? Yeah. And he's still got... I mean, do you think he's going to make that push now? I think he can, because... I mean, I don't know. I th I would personally spend this first turn killing as much stuff as I can. Um, well, if that's the goal, then here's how I would go about it. I'll spend an order the Karen, the Karantid would go forward. 
Oh, I was going to clear out the Peacemaker before you kill, move the Speculo. Because um, I think that the Karantic can move forward downstairs and shoot into the building to kill the Krakot and then go in the building haunted, um, and then uh, shoot the, the Peacemaker from that corner. Let's get the, and I think that would be a good way to clear things out and then the Speculo can move up. Yep. I mean, the other option is... The other option is to go after Deferson. Mm-hmm. Which might be what Speculo is just going to do. Like, the Speculo... Oh, it's just going to go behind the the Peacemaker? Mm-hmm. That'd be very funny. What I really want to see is him to, to remember Deferson during this whole period, if he starts to get discovered. Yes. Okay. Basically hanging out pretty close to the off spot here. Mm-hmm. Um, and Car- Caranted's going to move forward. Ooh, oh, he's coordinating. Okay. Oh, interesting. So, so the Caranted's moving up. 2.7, 1.3. Does it feel safe to leave the Caranted over here? Sycadron's pretty safe to go this way, right? Well... I would not leave the Karantid anywhere anywhere that that Feuerbach can get a line on him. That's fair. I mean, the Feuerbach will tear him a new one. That would be very bad. Here. And where was the There's the Datarazzi. It's going to move. Oops. Four, two. Oh, Wyrock, yeah. It's, it's daylight saving shifted, so timing shifts a little bit. Arrows. It's weird because I'm in Arizona. We don't do daylight savings, so for me now it's an hour earlier than it normally is. But I don't know where where that lines up with you. For me, it's it's an hour. You know, we we I'm in New Jersey, so mm-hmm. it is an hour later than I, it would normally be. Both of these guys. Right, it's the same. In theory, it should be the same time for everybody, right? Yeah, technically. Yeah. Okay. So I will go ahead and lay down two templates. Where are you okay. from, so Wyrock? You get to dodge with the Krakots. UK, if I'm correct. And other stuff because. Do you, know, you not do here. daylight saving? Oh, I guess you don't do that elsewhere in the world, or no? I don't know, man. I live in Arizona, and I just ignore it. <laughs> Basically, there's times of the year where I'm like five hours behind the UK, and other times where I'm six hours behind, depending on the time of year. Well, because we do it, and other people don't, right? Correct. Okay, that makes more sense. So, so the United States has shifted. Why Rock and I apologize? It's our dumb thing that we do. See, and this is where I hope that he would call out to spotlight the speculum. Right? Yes, because why not? Uh, makes it on the six. He gets three inches, which isn't quite enough to get into. So I, I mean, okay. So the Speculo killed the Peacemaker and the Oxbot. Um, I'm not sure what the Peacemaker did in response. I think he discovered. Okay. Obviously, the crack got dodged. I am not sure whether the Auxilia or the Oxbot for the Auxilia dodged. Yeah, because it's fine, and then the Ox spot Yep. Up on a seven. You got it, bud. It's big. Oh. Uh, I mean, the there's already a chain rifle pointing at him. Ah, uh, no. Mm. I think that's it. Yep. Okay. Oh, the first. Uh... But up, up, but up, up, up. All right, so now he's just the Krantz is gonna go uh, pop the four, the crackhot. I would have moved the crackhot far closer to the speculum. I think so. To be able to dodge into base to base. Eight inches is not quite there yet. Okay. Four again to basically the ladder here. Do you have stealth? Uh, doubt it. Doubt it. Okay, so Clint is answering your question in that he's definitely making his run right yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> sounded like you rolled it in person. <laughs> uh, but no, he's. Very much is standing there. Okay, another order on Granted. So, because of his fat base, he's going to be at the bottom of the stairs. 
He's slowly moving on. How much does he have left now? Five? Yeah, he can easily get to the edge. And while doing it, the auxilia is probably going to die. Spend, uh, what is it, like one and a half inches to get down, and then... I mean, he's got nothing to stop him. The only thing is he's just got to be careful about the ox bot, right? Yeah, the ox bot is the big concern of, like, if you get it, the ox bot where it has a flamethrower angle on the speculo and the guy, it's all bad. It's all bad. <laughs> I like that he left. I like that he just peaced out. Mm -hmm. Very important here. Good delaying tactic. Okay. So, okay, personally, if I'm Clint. You just missed the bottom, right? Well, I, I, what I'm saying is I'm not going to try and make a run to the back table edge this turn. Just get your points here. Let's get the two points. And then get into like get, go into marker state. Well, he can't. Oh, that's right. His data tracker. Ah, oh, gotcha. Then maybe suppress a fire, like in a corner. You know what I mean? Yeah, suppression. Got, I'm on board with like suppression on that corner there where he sees that area. Seems, seems but he's good. got to kill that ox bot first, though, if he's gonna do that. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes, he does. Or the auxilia. Mm -hmm. and I, that would be the ideal way to do it is. To re after you kill the crack out, reimpersonate the, the speculo, and just like yep, well, okay. shift around and shoot the auxilia from behind. Yep, and I'll just yes. Shoot you also, I mean, I don't have the list in front of me, but I'm pretty sure in, the T drone is in group two, so he can't missile anymore. Not this turn. So that is three yep. hits. Here's my save. Not not an option. Yep. I think I'm already dead. Damage 14, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, 14. Ah, uh, yeah. Then I'm already dead. Plasma is a hell of a drug, man. <laughs> Plasma is just a, a time and a half. <laughs> Wyrock, just just punch them with your swords. Easy peasy. Okay, I will spend an order on... Just impersonate, I yeah. Freaking speculos, man. Just the worst. <laughs> I want you to sword punch them. <laughs> it's very important. So the big question is, I think Clint is probably asking himself that question of like, impersonate. Am I, am I pushing this turn or not? He's almost certainly not now. He, he. I think he needs to do coordinate when he does this move right now. Where he backs the Karantid up and double moves with Speculo. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Kind of a new question. Could you see the Karhu from the ground? Like further back? Flip him upside down real quick. Um, oh, he's checking that right now. You got that. Yeah. Oh, he sees him. He sees the Speculo with the Karhu. Delay. Okay. And the Auxilia and Augsbot are going to discover. Hmm. Uh, I think you just take the shot. I was to say, kill, kill the auxilia, right? The auxilia. Yes, do, do. Okay. Double time blue. Uh, well, in that case, the Kahu will shoot you with the... Uh, it's funny, I wanted to cheer for Clint, but my heart always roots against whoever the combined player is. <laughs> like, <laughs> as a rule. <laughs> Whenever I watch Battle Force, I'm always like, I hope the Combine lose this. He's good. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, he made the saves? Yeah. Yep. That's the one I was going to say. Did this happen again? <laughs> this happened last week. <laughs> yep. yep. And you got hit with the Feuerbach and Explosive shot. <laughs> oh no! Uh, okay. Right, Lisa. So. Yeah, right, 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 Rock. Says... Oh, imagine that. He did not survive. <laughs> Not even da, 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 da. Oh, now there's a okay. real problem. That was fun. Well, do you do you, you move up just to shoot the flamethrower bot now? Well, all right. Actually, he could double move the Karanta back, That'll and he can dodge with it because the Sugaras got Overwatch on him. Okay. Like he sees the flamethrower. Like if it move, if it stands up, is what I mean. 
Yeah. So it's so, not actually an easy kill on the Karantid, but the Karantid is out in the wind. There, that's mildly terrifying. Do, 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 do. Like, get him behind the barrels and start... I really wanted to take out that order. I think just he's got to be... Just use I think both orders to run away. He doesn't have two orders. This is... Oh, he's not in, he has them regular order. No yeah. Way. I think he used a command token. His last one, awkwardly. Yeah, he used what all of them? Because he what? held one extra one back. Right. The Karantid. He did then, a Oh, he coordinated the, uh, uh he converted Heroes the Sogorot Irregular. Scram? Okay. Because there's the Taiga. Gotcha. Did you look close enough, fam? Okay, I will... Yeah, I was, like, right here, so... Yeah. Close enough. Um, I will target the ox bot. Oh, okay. No, don't target him. No, don't target him. Immobilize him. Yeah, that'd be better. Uh, crit that target. Wait, uh -huh. no, that's not no, Avatar. It's, I'm it's silly. Fail. You failed. Um, so that was so last command token already out of command tokens. I am in. Is this where I bring it up? Hold on. He's got it. Cool. Uh, Bill has got it. Yeah. Son of a <laughs> I, Clint <laughs> forgot that. <laughs> No, yeah, that's says, These people must always be on the game table as a model and not as a marker. Neat. Neat. <laughs> that's my bad. So he'll just go into suppression. That's the same thing, right? Pretty much. Uh, so good. No, he's just going to get freaking. That's a waste of a command token. Uh, if you don't mind, I'm going to take that yeah. order off of him. Um, mm. Dang, that was like my whole plan, and I'm dumb. Clint. I'm sorry, my dude. <laughs> so close. So close to getting those two points. <laughs> well, I, I think that he could legitimately back up. All right, well, we will convert like, that. And have like him. double move and go upstairs? I shouldn't have done that target thing, but whatever. So, basically move, move to... You keep, you keep going, right? Two more? I'm just trying to think of where you want to... But you just don't want him to be accessible from the right. Uh, you don't want a window, basically. He doesn't get wrecked. Yeah. I think he's got to go prone. My turn. Can you on the on the ladder? Huh? Let's see what I do. No, I mean, can he, I don't know if he had enough movement. He did, to... It was it was six inches to get up the ladder. Oh, okay, then no. All right, well, let's see what the piano can strike back. I feel like piano is taking some punches. It's hilarious that the auxilia is alive. Yeah. <laughs> I'm certain that's not the word, Clint. I'm certain that's not the word you would choose, but I'm laughing, and, and sure we're a unit, so you have to laugh too. Uh, so, <laughs> so here's my question: Do you try and go after the Karantid? Certainly. Or do you try and push he's, forward? You know he's the lieutenant. Yeah. Like, yeah, but I he's, he's got I'd, Namaka, right? But it's like, just gonna... get rid of the lieutenant order. Get rid of his data tracker. Get rid of his most powerful piece. Mm -hmm. You. Can kill it with the first and then melee with stealth. <laughs> like you walk up into it, doing yeah. Trinity, and then you walk into melee and beat him to death. <laughs> right? Does he, have, does he have anything that possibly overwatches it? No, because no, he just walks into the building, up the stairs. <laughs> I will flash pulse you. Um, I think he's got to deal with the. He doesn't get rid of the lieutenant order, but the lieutenant nope. goes to like a robot right, we'll instead of a Karantid, is what I'll I mean. Take it. Did you? With the plus like, three it downgrades three. the quality quite extensively. Yeah. <laughs> I thought okay. they had a bonus to dodge for some reason. They don't. And the the Karhu's going to pop the head of that Taiga in the distance, as well as the Ikatron. The Ikatron ended up in a weird the spot. Could like, I don't think Clint was thinking about the Karhu's vision when he was maneuvering. You have the advantage. Yeah, because you could take out both with one order if you wanted, because of the plus one burst. I mean, maybe. If it Still. Fails, it's going to hurt a lot. You put two on the Taiga and one on the Ikadra. Yep. That's <laughs> the Taiga is the one who will live, and if he lives, he gets away. Interested on what angle he'd take. What, what else could you? I mean, you take the car who, like, I think the first in a melee is the best option. You could also put to, you have the car who move to, all right, do you see where the, um, 
Can mem is the minus three camouflage token is for Pano? Yeah. Okay. If he just climbs up that thing uh, that he's next to, he can see through the wind like. He can see the thing. Oh, no, so he can see. Moves, he can see right move, move in the cover and then just shoot it. Yep. He's got breaker, I mean, right? it's not. I think Deferson is better because if you, if for some reason the Karantid lives, mm -hmm. I think he can guts prone and now you can't see him anymore. And it would but, take you three or four orders to get there. You know the issue for that is right when he's prone, suddenly Deferson can get in the melee. Right, one I think the first can get into melee anyway. Yeah, I, yeah, that's probably not a problem. A one. And I missed on a seventeen. Wow. Okay. So two six. All right. Bop, so bop, the Spot leading uh, the. Uh, how is Zeruka, man? I should really take this just this guy in White Company, the four, the four box. <laughs> Like, I told you that game I played. I, I with that white company list. The car who just walked right up a building, killed a moderator, killed the puppet master, moved over, killed Jazz. <laughs> like well, lately, I've been wanting to take the engineer because of mind wipe. Uh, like is on the list, so it's like him having a D charge and a multi rifle. He's like a good adaptive piece, I think, because he moves fast. With MSD one and mimetism, he can clear out the midfield and has D charges, so he can go do the mission. Step up. All right. This I think is a Clint, mistake. Yeah, Clint, you need to you need to take this arrow. Please remember that you put the sugar out there. Does the sugar actually see it if it goes that way though? It, it when it stood up. Is it taller than the thing it, was? Behind? It, it saw the model very clearly when I looked behind it. Oh, okay. All right. Um, I don't think you're close enough. Nope. Sorry, I should have measured from uh, there. Yeah. But... Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to stop before. Clint. My dude, no. Your cigarette so could have solved your problems. Or at least shot a thing. Okay. Um, I measure from you. I still think this is a bad move because okay. as soon as this ox bot uh -huh. gets within eight inches, yeah. the Kronta's uh, uh, got a decent chance of again. um immobilizing it. We'll move forward to here. And the, the auxilia is not a threat to the Kronta. Well, but he just wants this one flamethrower. Well, it gets blown up by the I guess. The rifle. Yeah. I mean, is that it's worth two right orders? Because right? yeah. the odds of you actually killing um, McGrunted yeah, is pretty low. There's a free coming your way, explosive, low. all that jazz, and... Yeah. Karantid's uh, just going to dodge. <sighs> I'm going to flame my Yep. It'd be very funny to, after this, after the flamethrower dies, then you move really him one more time him. and put a repeater under him. <laughs> okay, here's the Clint stage. failed his dodge. But I think he's good. He's fine. Armor five is a hell of a thing. That's what I'm saying. The odds of him failing three armor saves in a row. Three saves. Take even cover isn't going to help me. Nope, it's the spot. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, it wasn't worth a try. Here, that should be close enough. All right, so I mean, he killed the thing, right? But now I'm I'm concerned. I don't think he sees the first in play. Nah, I, 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 he's, he's not thinking about how advantaged he is in that exchange. Okay. Yeah. Um. I'll Shonen and Duo is very yeah. I I use Shonen and Mind Wipe to defog. But I just feel like the Kaplan wants to be a doctor in the Harris. Like the 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 Harris that I had for White Company is just I think the best Harris you can build in that faction, <laughs> with Jujak, Kaplan, Liang Kai, and and the doctor is so good. Uh, yeah, no. And then we'll just move another four inches. Oh, maybe he does see it. But like this is late to do that. Is it in group two or I would have, I would have preferred group one, I think. Yeah. I, I definitely would have preferred, preferred this much earlier. <laughs> yes, the oldest time version. Okay, I'll activate him again. I'm just going to move to here. Okay, I still don't think still nothing. Yep, and I'll just move again then. Assume okay. there's still nothing. Uh I do have stealth. You have stealth, JK, mm -hmm. sorry. I shouldn't have measured that then. Cool. Um, 
yeah, and then we just lock him in. So we can be sh sure here. I think the only thing that's going to have a line of sight is the Tatarazi. Um, Where? If he comes, when he comes around to go up those stairs, cool. and it's possible the Dadarazi can see him. Will sure. Then the Dadarazi in front oh, of... He's just going to uh, hack him to death. Uh, no, <laughs> that four, is... Six, I, I actually don't think that's a terrible idea. Um, so but like... You have to do three wounds and he's passing on his armor saves on like nines. So I mean, yeah. it's possible... Well, he passes on nines, but that's still. I mean, and if he it's gets still a combat rifle, just do, 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 right? Yeah. One isolates you, and I think that might be where we turn it. I feel like I feel like the martial art. I mean, I'd much rather do one die on a twenty-five. I agree. I uh, you and I are on the same page here, but I just don't hate his option. That did nothing. Instead, pop, pop, pop. I mean, you know, listen, Clint can just go. Uh, oh, no! Uh, wait, wait, 8 plus 6 is. Yeah, is it 14? Um, it's damage 14, I think. It's damage 14. So he just died. Holy shit. <laughs> Sorry. Fired by language. <laughs> no, that's fine. Cool. <laughs> hey, you want to talk about how ridiculous that is? <laughs> I, well, I, I don't think it's. Likely that happens. However, I do think I expected that to take three exchanges, but I did expect the current to, to die. <laughs> I'll say that much. I did expect him to lose that exchange because the first one on seventeens is too consistent to lose those those fights, right? I he should lose statistically. He should probably lose every fight, but he should only be taking one, maybe two hits each time. Yeah, and he passes more than fifty percent of the time. I I think he, I'm curious on. I would bring up the dice calculator, but I'm not going to mess with that right now. But it's just like, you're basically doing... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well... I'll do it, because I'm... Uh, you do it? Yeah, do it in the background. Find, find out what the odds of... How many wounds? Because I'm betting that his average number of wounds he takes is a little over one. Let's see here. So DeFerson's whip 14... Then I'm going to activate the camera token here. All right, camera markers moving around. So here's a Zulu. And just went to and. Is he is? Here. Kiss is standing, so I guess he might be trying to pop. Any reaction? Kill Kiss. No. Mm -hmm. And then I'll just keep up moving to the corner here. Oh, Kiss will throw out a discover. Oh, is he standing? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Cool. <laughs> He's like, I'll take that. Seventeen's not going to be good enough. Yep. And so he's going to get surprise. Do you like breaker combo most of the time over assault pistol? I guess it depends on the defenses, right? Yeah, I mean, obviously. He has three, so you just assault pistol here. But it needs to be a seat. Like, what? What's the damage difference? What's They're the both armor? Damn. Sorry, what I mean is, what what is the armor difference you needed to be to want the half breaker versus first four? I think with one extra die, you'd probably want it to be at least like four. Like you want to be shaving two points off their armor. You know what I mean? Yeah. Do you surprise shot kiss here? Just get rid of kiss? Because it's like one of the last things. Like, let's talk about, I guess you might get. It, are Zulu Cobras with limited camo or camo camo? Uh, let's find out. They have camo. All right, yeah. I mean, I, I, I could see a world where you just. Just kill it and re camo and then move a hell up and that's your, your turn? Yeah. Making it, so we're going to stand up then. Just move to here where I think I can see. Huh. Uh, kiss. And That's a hell of an angle. Check. Mm -hmm. uh, I think, I think you're blocked by the. Ah, yeah, you're right. Then. Yeah. Completely... Okay, so. 
Fifty-six percent of the time, the Furzen would have done a wound. Okay. So just at least, slightly at least one. That's how you're going. And then what's the chance of two wounds? Twenty-two percent. I mean, that means that. Percent. <laughs> yeah, it's, you said it's four percent, right? For three. Four percent to kill him. Yeah. In one All right. Shot. But like that twenty-two percent is surprisingly high. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think that's the the actual takeaway there. I don't think nobody sees him. And the funny thing is, he should have had targeted the whole time, <laughs> which helps with hacking. Yes. <laughs> like it, it. Oh no! Sorry, not hit. The the speculation had targeted. Never mind. Where he's still in cover. That's wild. Oh, should be in cover. Are you suppressing with the pathfinder? Oh yeah, he's just. Yeah. And. He's just well, locking down the map. I mean, at this point, if I'm. Cool. Oh. Right. Cool. Can I, you get to Arthur? The Furzen is is your key, right? You got to keep him alive, because if you keep him alive and are able to make a run, that's a huge swing, right? Because you've just you've denied Clint four victory points right now. Yeah. Because he can't get any of the three victory points. And it's already dead. Tracker, and the dead tracker's dead. Yeah. So, like, maybe there's a case where he should have backed Arthur up. Yep. On top of the fact that since the Karantid is so many points, and the spec, like, between the Speckle and the Karantid, it's 100 points. Yeah. And all you've lost is a Peacemaker, really. Oh, and then the Niss. The Niss is not cheap, but... It's fine. She did her job. Delay first turn strikes. Although you normally want it to last more than one exchange. Does anything see in here? All right. Now the the tricky part is as so now you're Clint. Oh, I think, you use your killer hacker. Yeah, you have to. That's the only thing you really. This dot, he's gonna move. I mean, I, or Dadarazi could berserk and like Dadarazi are actually better at melee than King Arthur is. <laughs> Isn't that funny to say? <laughs> They'll beat him to death. Other than it, be, I mean, it's like an even roll, really. Well, he's berserk, right? And then no, just... I, I, I think you actually fight him because you're one better. Because you need more than one exchange to actually kill him. No, you have DA close combat weapon. I don't expect him to fail both. Here, mm -hmm. she had a decent chance of critting, right? Um, that's true. That's okay. Crit with a crit, I feel more can. Like confident about that, because otherwise, like yes, you are one better than he is, but that's yeah. still a coin toss. Mm -hmm. You know, if he if he rolls just one, you know, two better than you, which is not like crazy hard on one die, yeah, that that, um, this dot, he kills you. The camel guy sees this guy, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, I, I think uh, Benton Kiss is your best chance, though. If this dot were to go like here, excuse would you be able to see him? <clears throat> no, I don't excuse you. Haha. -ha. With the now what? Guy. You know what? That's fine. That dot will take his impetuous. Yeah. Oh yeah, it, no, the the chance was four percent. We looked it up, and it's just like Jesus Christ. Him just popping it was kind of crazy. <laughs> Six. And then... But but a lot of this comes back to Clint thought he could hide in a marker state, which would have been very safe. Mm -hmm. Nothing for me. Okay, or at least moderately safe. I also think him missing that, the, like it, it, that he didn't take a wound from the flamethrower. Trying to see where I, oh, where'd my smoke go? It's behind the dot. It felt uh, kind of weird. Uh, I mean, think about how important was this, the two armor saves against the shotgun. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> like uh, if that speculo kills the 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 ox bot, the auxilia rather. Then you spend an order. You can easily get that Karantid into the deployment zone. Perhaps. I don't think that was his goal when he was short on orders, though. And I think that either way, the Karantid dies. Because yeah, because try and throw you still team. have achieved two objective points. As opposed to now, you can't get any of the three, you know? Alright, <clears throat> sorry for those out there watching, Clint is still doing his Impetuous. 
everything. Yeah, I was just looking kind of at the angles, trying to figure out how King Arthur could have. I can't. I want to call him King Arthur forever. How how he could have gotten to him. It's like I don't think there's a way you stop the Kronta from dying if that exchange happens. <laughs> like if there is a hacking exchange that's happening, I don't think there's a way to stop the Kronta from getting murked. Uh, it's all down to luck, right? Yeah. I mean, he can. He can just roll better, and then. One oblivion, and now he's a paperweight who moves cool. once per turn. Okay, so I'm in. I'm out of impetuousness. Um, I will spend an irregular on this guy who is going to move. What the Kamazeva? Whoops. Sorry. Yeah. Yes. Sorry. Been a big <laughs> development in a. Combined technology. Because <laughs> uh, everyone knows what that is. Everyone knows. We know. Okay. Although you would think if Deshot can do it, these guys could. But, you know. here, probably not. But the dude. Four to here. <laughs> yeah, that, I mean, that just means that they hire them better. Pathfinder. <laughs> mm, well, I don't see it because you have. All those barrels are bigger. Okay. Yeah. Is he going to move the Liberto up and kill the Pathfinder? And the Fugazi behind it, I think. Um, Which, I mean, I guess you can do that. Is he worried about... I guess it see, it's suppressing and it sees bit if she moves. And this is all group 2 stuff, I think? No, it's group 1. Weird. Alright. I would move one more time. Yeah. Yep. And then double template. Mm-hmm. I'm yep, it's exactly what you thought it was. I'd probably walk into combat with it. Too. Group audible gasp. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to walk into base to base with your. There you go. Clint. Does that break suppression? Pathfinder. Yep. Take Does that allow you to even? You can, can you declare the suppression yep. still? Yep. Or it's broken uh, now. Uh, well, the I'd have to look. There, Usually, it's always at the end of the order, right? But I can yeah, find out. Yeah, I think so. Uh, hit notes, but I would have cover before you get in the. But suppression this should be suppressive. Very good at saving against your templates, so I'll just shoot you with the combi rifle. Cancellation. Okay, I'll drop two templates to hit both of you. Yep. The trooper enters engaged, isolated, or retreat state. Uh, but I think engaged is done at the end of the order. He's unconscious, and the Fugazi uh, is unconscious level two. Okay. Uh, do I still get my um, suppressive fire combi rifle shots, all three, or? I believe the state is canceled the second I enter with you, but it's it's not clear, so if you want to take all three, go ahead. The trooper is in silhouette oh, contact with an enemy trooper, and neither in an immobilized or null state. Yeah, yeah I think it gets canceled. It's weird. Yeah. But like I also, uh, I don't know. It's weird. Two hits. It's a strange thing. And I am gone. Yeah. Okay. So the... right. Still, he took out both. Yep. 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 Good trade. Yep. All right. Now. Whether it was a good trade for orders, unknown. But good trade in general. Like he's definitely going to use. Does Kiss have a repeater on him or no? Just deployable. But I don't. Um. So... No repeater on him. He just has the, the pitcher. The repeater in the pitcher. Okay. So many repeaters on Kiss. That's a hilarious combination. <laughs> just like boop, 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 boop. Vomiting pitchers everywhere. Yeah. Defog, I, I'm, I'm entertained by that one as well. I have a hard time taking, making the gunfighter the only one with the one wounds though. <laughs> like, you have a Jujak and, and a High Dow, and oh, the Kaplan's the taking the fights. Oh, I'm hesitant. I know he has mimetism, but like, you know what well, I mean. You, you gotta try, right? You gotta, you gotta try. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna move with Bit and Kiss. Bit hmm. is going to stay prone. And the car who went prone again, so he's two inches. He's cagey with him. I mean, he doesn't want it to die. Right. Well, I mean, 
It's an incredible long long range piece, and its its uh, position is still like commanding. Yep. Yeah, I say if he kills that Sagarat, then just leave him standing because nothing can hurt him at that point. Well, and I also think that this highlights another problem of like if he had kept that Sagarat on that window to just take arrows, he'd have been in a much better position. Right? Yeah. Like I liked it just being there exchanging shots. It's nearly invincible. In cover. Um, and bits. So I think well, that, that was actually a big mistake to move it that far backwards, if only because now to get it back involved has a two-order cost. Instead, he's going to be watching this edge of the map that doesn't matter the entire game. Success, closer one. Right? Yep. I fire. So Clint is firing two pitchers. Both are in. We got one. One, yeah. All right, now, now, be, now happens the hackening. Yep. Your guy's down here, right? Mm -hmm. And this is when order King Arthur crits him, <laughs> kills him. <laughs> I mean, I wish all the best for you, Clint. I'm just going to laugh if it fails. <laughs> He's afraid of a Zulu Cobra. I mean, if Clint kills this guy, he's basically right back in the game. At some point. Um, Moderately, yeah. I'll try to. Up, uh, not Oblivion. I'll Trinity Pit. Okay, and I think the correct thing for me to do here. I can see a case for Oblivion definitely here. Definitely feels like Trinity, but Trinity. I want to do. You want the plus three. Well, but also like you, you want one of these orders to be able to take him down for the turn. But you have. Mm -hmm. Because like if he's oblivion, whatever Trinity, it's fine. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, I guess you're you're advantaged here, so that's fair. So fifteen, two, and four. You cancel two of mine. Okay. There's one hit. Yeah, root thirteen. Okay. Um. It's also a plus one burst Trinity as opposed to oblivion. Yeah. Of course. Oh, I mean, get... Yeah. And I don't. Think... See, this is this is what. Could have happened so, with, on, we'll see if mm -hmm. got within a the Karantid. So another order on Kiss is going to crawl two inches. To... I just think that you do Oblivion because uh, then he yeah, can't even hack that's... you back. Mm -hmm. Still prone. And you can yeah. still Trinity him, right? Yeah. Then you're. Well, the thing is, then you become two dice on thirteens uh, versus his one die on fourteen. On a fourteen. Yeah. That you're right. Yep. Two one thirteen to win that fight. You spent your lieutenant order on him, right? Probably. Nope. I no. spent it on the Kahu with NCO. You spent it on the Kahu with NCO. That is right. Well, I'm gonna try and isolate you, anyways. Yeah. Okay. I like this. I'm on the fourteen. I land a nine. He rolled nine. That's really good. I got a thirteen. That's crit. Not bad. Crit. Did he crit? Yes. Uh, See? Funny. Shut you up. Math. 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 Oh, you got a <laughs> hey, listen. You know, 5% of the time, anything works, right? <laughs> oh, I got a crit with 13. What, what were you on? Uh, he was on 14. What's on the 14? You're, you're, oh, because Trinity gives you plus 3. Yep, mm -hmm. cool. Cool, cool, cool. Sorry. Uh, yeah, then this see. should isolate him. Yeah, there you go. Oh, he's definitely isolated. And go now, ahead. like, you can still Trinity him, right? Yes, he still has the hacker. You're gonna do nothing in your zone of control ever again. No, just just um, turn to him where he has negative nine to reset. <laughs> like you just blast his brains out now, right? With the last order. And yep. I've got kiss back, which is mildly nice. Um, and the Sograth's probably gonna move up now, right? It's got. I don't know what else he's gonna use in group two. It's just a bunch of chaff. I mean, okay. So what's the path to victory for Clint? He's got to kill. The designated he's target. He's got to die. He's got to protect his own designated target. He's got to get more stuff from the panoply, and he's got to hold, kill more army points and control the transmission. Maybe he goes up and uses what's it? It's what yellow's group two. Does he have a yellow Dadarazi? Where is that? It's upstairs. Oh, no, it's right below downstairs. kiss. Downstairs. Right below bit. I can see using those orders. The Sogarot should go for the panoply. Uh, I like that idea. He's moving up the T drone with his group two order, which I'm not. I'm assuming he's well because he doesn't have a way to do spotlight anymore. He's just getting it watching. Okay, and then I will move. 
I think he's just having it watch for the Dadarazi coming on around the corner. Oh, oh does it? Mm -hmm. Let's back up a little bit. Not cross that threshold. Yeah, he's just—he's probably just going to miss the crack out, which I think is fine. Mm -hmm. He's also he's facing the wrong way. Yep. That's okay. Okay, another order on the missile launcher. We'll go here. Yeah, I'll watch with my crack out. Actually, I want to mention that so bad. <laughs> I think if I go there. there we go. All right, all right, all right. It's, <laughs> everything's fine. <laughs> ah, giving me conniption. Maybe not. No. Oh, if we go there, further. my um, camera token sees you. I guess he mm. would have also seen you as he moved up, but there he definitely sees you. I think you're okay uh, with that. Yeah. And then use the cigarette to like pop his head yeah, off in I'll two orders. I'll throw a random missile at the crack hut in hit okay. mode. I'll dodge on the 16. In fact, the Sograt can actually see... I would have totally allowed him to see me. Mm -hmm. Well, he did see him. Right? He saw him as he moved up. Okay. So. Well, the Sograt can, like, move left and actually see... <laughs> That's pretty cool. The Sograt said NCO? My gut said they did for some reason. Actually, the Sograt is not going to be able to see him because they're smoking away. Um. Fair. You are you are correct. Somewhere else. Um, yeah, I think. Yeah. It's so funny the conscience just straight bit it. It's still so funny. Oh, you deserve better than a robot, buddy. Or what else do I have in group two? Med tech. Mm. And his little. Bunny. Where is? Hanno's DHVT. That's a good question. Am I, am I just blind? And yellow. I see Clint's. Question, where is the um the panel designated target? Uh, it's over here. On my right side. Ah, thank you. Oh, it looks like a technique. All right, cool. Yeah, I see it. Oh, okay. gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I thought it was one of his models, yeah. Um... Okay, so this that is just gonna. I feel like you've got to use these orders to get the cigarette back involved, right? Yeah, I have, it's way too many points to have it sitting watching an area that no one's gonna move. Damn this bridge! Lock, lock, lock. So two point two. Probably shifting this around to go for the Panapoli run, which I'm okay with. Arrows, I think the mm -hmm. camo might have seen him at yeah, the beginning, yeah, but, but nothing. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll throw Discover that way. I want to know what that okay. thing is. So, zero range band. You have cover and magnetism and all that. Uh, but a two will do. I'll reveal your secrets. <laughs> that is a Zulu Copa. Ooh. He's a like, guy. Ah. Oh, no, that's way worse than you hoped it was, right, Flint? <laughs> That's that's not a good thing to just run into when you're at your end of your yeah. turn. <laughs> I mean, he's not moving the cigarette up at this point because he's got only one order. Is there anybody who can? I guess the missile could take a shot at him, but that's not a fun fight. No, he's gonna be at minus six on well, one die. He might be outside of twenty-four, but I don't think he is. From the missile box, that Zulu? No. I, I said I didn't think he was. <laughs> I, Dope. I will spend I'm pretty sure that's like 18 inches if he comes yeah. to the corner to see him. Yes, I agree. Uh, does 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 Mnemonica roll or does it just work with the first guy? Huh? What do you mean? I'll does find out. New guy. What is his question? Does, what oh, you just, if if you kill the second Monica guy, does it do it again? If the if second model so, also has so the Monica, new yes. Lieutenant also has. Because I don't think the new Monica skill transfers. I think it's so just the lieutenant's. Do you know what I'm saying? I will spend the yeah. lieutenant order on the Sogaret to move. And Monica doesn't have cubes. Okay, I don't think I see. No, you can go to remotes. Currently, There's all I sorts of things that you can do. Well, with Monica. What, what I mean is that means that you can't like. Doctor oh, stuff them, yeah, you... right? 
I guess they're mostly all structure, huh? Moves there and yeah. last okay. um, sure so. group two order the Dadarazzi will get somewhere a little safer. To here. Oh no, then I take it back. Mnemonica special skill and lieutenant skill both transfer. So is this is this it just bounces lieutenant? around. Or is it just uh -huh. a drop off? <laughs> no, that's just the um just reading through it. Oh Which the bridge. Go? I'm yeah. so dumb. Thanks. <sighs> okay. Um I mean oh you know why? It's probably because so you can't yeah, substitutize them. Again, yeah. Hundred percent. Um and the Sogaret still sees through that window a little bit, which is nice. Otherwise your avatar it's becomes my avatar. <laughs> it does say that the, the the skill also translate like transfers. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I guess. yeah it just bounces forever, basically. Um I mean, he's basically just, he has to get the, the panoply. And then... I ah, this car who's going to be a problem? Spend it on... I guess I can't kit. see the no, missile bot. Spend it on bit and kiss. No, bad Clint. Don't do that. No, you can kill him. <laughs> Go kill him. Um, <laughs> Luther drone. This Datarazzi. Does he have an angle? Okay, so I think when the, where the Sagarite is right now, when the smoke clears, move, move, if you get down and look from where the oh, Zulu... Yeah, he sees the Zulu, for sure. Zulu. That's the angle yeah. I was thinking of before you point out the smoke. Mm -hmm. nope. So he is watching the Zulu, which I appreciate, actually. Then... Like, can you imagine this, you are the Zulu Cobra, the smoke clears, and in the distance you just see like these two red eyes. You're like, ah, what's <laughs> happening down that hallway? I don't like it. <laughs> Why do we not invent a smoke grenade that we can throw and protect me? Yeah, <laughs> okay. What do you mean it's that dishonorable? We're not the JSA. We can get out of here. An evil corporate empire. Yeah. Uh, I'm definitely going to spend a command token to Does... turn my dog into group one. He has to have an engineer, right? For Arthur? Together with the pilot. Yes. I mean, at least he has a really good whip. So there's a, like an okay chance... That he might get out, but it's not not until bit is not until kiss is dead though, or bit whoever the hacker is. That's is. true. No, because otherwise every time he tries to reset, he can just do it again. I'm not going to use the impetuous Teuton, and now the car comes. That's big. All right, did Clint leave anybody hanging out in the wind that the car who can pop the head off? Um. Shoot him 12, I dodge him 16. I don't think so. Hit me, I'm dead. Do we count the Sogarot? I could get. I mean, I'm assuming they're playing that you can't fire through multiple windows. Well, I'm saying he would climb down. If you climb down and go left where the Peacemaker is, you can just well, shoot the Sogarot, and that's a yeah. good fight for him. <laughs> Impetuously cross yep. cards. And he, yeah, no, he'd be in cover. So. Okay. But. Um, First three, four box, uh, a hell of a thing. Drone yeah. 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 Definitely. Okay. Oh, man. Um, but I do think that is it, so enjoy a missile. The funny thing is, at some point yeah. soon, that Hella is just going to move to a more automatic spot. Uh, four. <laughs> Not terrible. I fail. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and he's dead. Goodbye. Yay. Splat. Good job, missile butt. Gets domed by a missile launcher. Oh, well, it was worth a try. Oh, well, it's interesting because Pano is also now out of like cheap disposable orders. I mean, you might push the auxilia up the left past Arthur and push the button. Um, so we'll activate uh, the Kahu, who's going to stand up and just jump with the whole order. Because I'm just picking up and basically just land down here with six inches. He's climbing plus, you just go down. I don't think there's just walk. Action. Um, yeah, that seems accurate. It's about the same distance, it's order. fine. Let's try to figure out where he's going. Double move. Over to here because I don't think there's anything. Okay. 
Um, uh, yeah. Is he trying to get the back line or something? Oh, no, well, he's going to where I originally said. He can go up basically right next to the Zulu Cobra. Oh, just shoot the... <laughs> okay. I mean, I, I think going left is more beneficial. I think it gives you angles on the Dadaraze afterwards. He's also t completely forgetting his climbing plus. Is I think the issue. To get interesting with the next order, we'll basically just move to here, uh, where I think I can see, well, somewhere up on the stairs here, where I can see your Sogaret. Yeah. Well, I guess I. Well, one second, because uh, there is the Zulu Cobra in the way. Yes. Yeah, like all he has to do is climb straight up that wall to the left of the Zubra Cobra and walk along well, that we'll edge. No, he just has to be the same height as the Zulu Cobra. Activates the Zulu Cobra. Because and he won't get cover. Going to go Why not? He just oh, follows yep. the follows the ladder all the way up. Oh, uh, uh, that's true. And when he's the same height, okay. it's no longer a problem. I'm shooting him with a yeah. missile, or uh, sorry, a Box. I mean, I think there's also a case where you could have just yep. breaker well, combied you when you're prone, probably not. triangular fire him. Yeah. <laughs> right? Because <laughs> you're three on tens, and he's I'm just wondering if I could get probably on seven. <laughs> Sorry, no. Plus, minus, oh, minus. Yeah. Uh, probably, yes. Okay. Like, three on sevens, that's good enough, I'll man. Nothing that, um, but I'll just touch. You don't waste all these orders in the car, who? You just you do that first to see what happens. Oh, mm -hmm. Okay. Seven. Miss. There you go. <laughs> okay. Okay. So they both missed. <laughs> Just right. have no faith in your dice. Um. <laughs> that's, that's the rule. <sighs> so now he just moves up the stairs, claims yeah. cover from the stairs, uh, and takes this fight. Up on the. I'd put. I'd. Uh, I'd move all the way to the corner. And then go back down again. Because that's. You, I, I don't think you keep hiding him after this turn. I think. I think. I don't think that. You post him and make yeah, him a problem because well, he doesn't have anything after the Sogarat yeah. to like fight yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a feeling that Roland doesn't think he's got um, yeah, I'll shoot. from that position. I'll shoot you back. Okay. Otherwise, we didn't even there? measure range before. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think it is. Yeah. Uh, if you're on the stairs, I think it might. I'm getting thirty one point eight. All right, that's that works for me. So. Do you have mimetism? Uh, I do have mimetism. Okay. So okay. I'm on 10. <laughs> I'll be All right. On 13. Yeah. Uh, Clint gets a uh, 20. Not uh, good. Very not bop, good. Bop, bop. <laughs> That's saves. And it's AP today, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and oh, AP no. Save, so. so armor 6, basically, including the cover. Uh, one's not high enough. One, Eight's two, three, enough. dead. Not high enough. I'm out of here. It's eight and a high enough? No, it's not. Exactly. Armor six becomes three, yeah. plus three for cover. You needed nines. That car who? Just <laughs> pasting people. I would like for my multi wound guys to last. <laughs> I would like the record to volume. show that there has been some obliteration of high armor people today. <laughs> Clint, you are in fact allowed to make armor saves. In case you think, <laughs> like you don't have to fail all of them. It's it's okay. You can make some. I think that's very fair of him. <laughs> cool. Um, well, uh, I get to pick a new lieutenant. Hold on one sec. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I mean, his crackot failed some. One of the infantrons. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so wise of you. Um, yeah, I've got it. Bit right. Second. Okay. You have to make it bit. You think? Yeah. <laughs> Just a bit. You should see if your boy gets rid of Oblivion. <laughs> so listen, if you make, I actually would have made it bit before. Uh, so yeah, I'll activate the. With because can now you with Memnica? Why not? All right, Godspeed, White Rock. Uh, it, because then you can't do it again. It's not a safe. Are you saying just to give her the lieutenant order? And make her whip 16. But it has to be a remote presence guy. I was like, what are you saying? Right? Okay, cool. It's got to go. See. That's remote. See. 
Construction of the Triple right. Sigma Army must be on the battlefield in the form of a model marker and have either a cube or rem. I didn't know you could just do, do it to a person. I thought it had to be a robot. No, it could be anybody. That's why the Saga Rat had it. Oh. So now you make, and the thing is, now she becomes Whip 16, so she's Trinity on 19. Like, uh, I like that. Guys, if you could you know? not just immediately die, that'd be great. <laughs> he just so becomes the main there's... character from MASH. He's like, war as hell. <laughs> So okay, so that actually, to a certain extent, one regular order to just recamo the Zulu Cobra. That's a reasonable thing to do. And to a certain extent, it helps Clint a little bit because yeah. now Clint can spend a lieutenant order. Try try to break out with third person. I just I want him to do to try to break oblivion with the person. He should leave the area, right? Yeah, he just move, right? Very adventurous. Move reset. Activates the first and with his regular. Oh, snap. He's got stealth. Just move, move. You're right. I will Trinity him. <laughs> uh, well, I'm deciding if I actually want to. Oh, you have stealth. Right. Yeah. Could just walk, but then I just go into the Dirty Razi. And that's not fun. So, yeah, I'll just. Uh, yeah, Trinity. Bit. You're isolated. So we on fourteen. Oh no, okay. I, I can't. I can't. Use there we that. go. I can't. Yeah, they 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 asked I me not to correct change. rules. They were very specific oh, yeah, about it. So yeah. Um, just back him up. Things? Back through the window. I think you need to try to reset. Um, back up out of the repeater range nine. and yep. try to reset. Nine. Yeah. Okay. Just get lucky. It's fine. Well. He's got a twenty-five percent chance. Uh, ish. It's countered by bit being bit. But other than that, yeah, that's true. Because once he tries to reset, he breaks stealth. And since he was in there, I might just move, move. To be honest with you. But then you only get one chance to reset for the rest of the game. Oh, uh, fair. Unless you're gonna move, move at the opponents, where you're gonna get a bunch of resets. To just move back and then but that seems like a something next risky time. as fuck move <laughs> well, that feels bad um but yeah i think that's the only thing i can do so we'll just walk with arthur and we'll stand up okay four inches to here um and then we'll just walk again over to here Okay. I mean, I guess he he is almost certainly going to be winning by the army points. So as long as he kills the designated target, they, yeah, the people need to push some buttons. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and and like, I really don't see Clint having any way of stopping that Zulu Cobra from walking up and standing on the transmission antenna in the middle at the end of the game. And I'll activate the auxilia here. I mean, he's got some Dadarazi that I think can run forward now that the uh, Kahu's not there and the Sniper's not there, but those are his best chance. In fact, if... Where did the Kahu end up? There? Yeah. I guess the guy up top is prone, so there's not going to be a double chain rifle option. Okay. Nine, so if you move there, I can shoot you. Okay. Um, mm. and let's go turn. Uh, so did he move into range of that repeater? Because otherwise you just yes. Uh, you did walk Botlet. into my repeater, so uh, it yeah, gets... but you don't. Well, well there's no spotlight. And... She could die oh. if you wanted to. That's right. Oh yeah, I guess. Um, might as well. Can she dodge? Oh. Whew. Can you dodge? That one inch. That's a weird one. I don't know That's that weird. you can dodge. Uh, yep. You might be able to. I'm not going to say 100%. You can't, so. Neat. Neat. I'm going to look up hacking. Neat. It's got to be in the hacking section, right? More than likely. Or an FAQ somewhere. So I am going to... Impetuous... This, uh, your auxilia can't see this guy, right? No, no, no. One, uh, the other one. 
if the impetuous one works. All right, so this is Clint's last turn. He's going to move four inches. Hey, if you want to go grab some pad, please. Yep. Who can he put in the middle? Can you move your hand? Like a Dadarazi and he's just dodging like a crazy person? Sometimes. Has to be a Dadarazi. Uh, Take a drone, could. Yep. Some flamethrowers on there? I will throw smoke. Yep. Like, tuck him into that little yeah. box corner to where, like, people have to like, be in flamethrower range yeah, to stop him. <laughs> They're going over here. Okay. What do you think he's moving for? Out. What is your intent? Well, he's going to try and get up and push the button, I guess. Uh, is there anything watching it? Other... The auxilia. Man, that's like the longest my Dadarazzi's have ever lived. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so there's... Hide back. Just go kill him, it's fine. That Dad... yeah, the... <laughs> That auxilia is the boy who lived. Um... Yes. <laughs> The boy who lives, this guy goes this come way. to die. Does see him? Uh -huh. This camo does. This camo might. I'm not sure because of the... Oh, yeah, so... You, so no one will see that. So I'll take it. So yeah, I feel like a, a lot of the... Like, two I don't know that there are major strategic choices to be made at this point. We just kind of watch how it plays out. Yeah, yeah I mean... To the left. Right? So from here, he'll go to the Get left. Get yourself some panoply. Uh -huh. Yep. Hope well, for the best. He's not, well, he's gonna he can smoke this panoply, right? Because mm -hmm. if he doesn't, the helot is gonna shoot him. I don't know where he's going. I'm so confused as to what this tree is doing. Why go that way? Uh, I don't know. Offhand. We would like one tree on the map coming out of the corner of a building. Um, okay, so that was his impetuous. She's been there a long time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so. If if this guy comes out here, you'll see public the guy who's in That's when they're running somewhere. Saying, yes. So That's I will not spend that one. And now I get to question my life as I try and figure out what I'm doing this turn. Uh, <laughs> you have, turn a, you three, have a daunting so task in front of you. something about the mission. Wow. Um, your data trackers... He's not obliged. Here. He doesn't have to try to win. I can't get any of the <laughs> run to the other side points. There's panoplies. My data tracker's already dead. It's gonna have to kill more army points. Ha ha ha. The slow <laughs> devolving of a sane man. <laughs> I mean, at this point, I don't even know that Clint this can win. Pretty much. Um, I mean, if he controls, I mean, yes, he can. If he controls the panoply. The, sorry, the transmission. I'm real confused That's two, which will offset the fact that well, he's killed less army points. Oh, you might have chain of command. Yeah. But I don't. I don't. There's two chain of commands in Parmo, and I don't. Have um, or I mean, is he? Get, is there any realistic way he's getting to the HT? I don't think so. Not a big one. Um, Clint, it was the Magister Knight the whole time, or Teutonic Knight, whatever. Three orders. They're Magister Knights in their heart. I don't Dadarazi, know the that there's there's the not Magister good uh, like I paths do. for. It. I think the Dadarazi to the left is a weird choice. Like you said, he just needs to go for it. Uh, yeah, I would have just thrown smoke, blocking the the gap between you know the. Let's... Let's sign with final boss game. and the panoply on it and walked up and pushed the button. Number one. Just gonna run up here. Arrows. Okay. And then he's gonna run to as far forward as he can without giving you yep. free shots. Uh, I see. He might move for it, like just be efficient, move and dodge this one, just to be in uh, touching it, and then prone or something. Actually probably should have I smoke. I mean the problem is going to be he's going to move. Yeah, yeah. No okay, that's as I say. I don't... If he moves and throws smoke, throw smoke further. You see there? Yeah, see, like I'm throwing yeah. it on the corner. Throw the gap. There. Throw the gap. But yeah. you need to get to the there. thing. Yes. So smoke. Yep. <laughs> so unless he's, I mean, he might move and then dodge, but sure. But that's annoying. Here. Yeah. It's more orders than he has to spend on this um, objective. Cool. Another Dadarazzi order. Gonna move. Oops. 
move 1.4, 2.6 to here. Arrow All right, I wouldn't and dodge. I would just move, so but move as far forward as I can, touching the base, like touching the smoke. Yeah. Yeah. The... Are you trying to kill it? Yeah, I want to kill. I think he's trying to kill the the HVT. Oh, okay, sure. I'm more okay with that. I thought he was going for the easy points of panoply. Because um, that's I don't I I agree the killing the HVT is better because this is my. has his whole turn to just push a button twice and then he negates that point. You know what I mean? Is it more points or is it? Or is it more from the panoply? No, they're both one. Okay. Obviously, this guy's gonna see me. This guy's gonna see me. Is anybody else gonna see me? I don't think so. Okay, so I'm fine with being right there. Well, I just check your if you're in range of the ox spot here. You are. So he's going to dodge. The designated target is going to dodge, and we're going to reveal our helmet and <gasps> light you up with the SMG. Yep. With shock. Um, I'm not shocked. Group anymore. audible gasp. <laughs> Okay. Uh, did I get far enough to get the HVT out of cover? Uh, yeah. They can't be placed in cover until they're dodge. Why not? They uh, can't touch they scenery. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry, I shouldn't have jumped in. I've been try I've been trying to not say things the whole game. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> um, I will throw to. Uh, no, you're dodging on. Eleven. He said this essentially. Eleven. So, yeah. So Eleven. <laughs> Use double pistol. Just pop up. Yeah. Two shots on a fourteen. Oh yeah, I've got a heavy pistol. I'll yeah, shoot a heavy shot. pistol at you. Uh, but it's on a fourteen. Fourteen, or I could throw a grenade. One grenade. I'd rather two fourteens than one seventeen. Yeah. No, okay. no, because you could just roll a one. Yeah. Two hits, so one safe. With armor one, I'm good. Of course. Light uh, me up. Why didn't you shoot the, twice? That's why you shoot twice. <laughs> that's the other reason you shoot twice. Uh, let's Three hits. <laughs> I am the weakest link. Goodbye. Okay, and I'm just going to match him into cover with guts. Uh, okay. And go prone. Not sure. Matters, I, think. I don't think it matters. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. I'm not getting over there with anybody else. Uh, is your two lives? Yep. Um, I don't know. I have somebody by a fucking pano. pano. <laughs> right? By pano? <laughs> by I got plenty of people by pano. Actually, I really don't. I mean, you could move up um, the yellow Donorazi, right? Nice move him up. Here. Throw smoke. Well, what's and the goal? Then, What's your end goal? You, to you put, wanna... we push buttons. Okay. Push the pad on combines on right. Who's gonna... And then you really and need to make sure no one, like, the... try and control the Who objective are... at the end. Camo bro. Those are the only, those are the only things you okay. you could possibly okay. score. I don't think anyone's getting uh, far enough to get to King Arthur to kill him. Sure, over here. Is Kiss going to move? Um, yeah, sure. The missile bot could go wide. Sees him out of cover. Um, I kind of like that. You have, uh, SMG. Sees him yeah. down that long angle, huh? Well, sure. I'll just shoot you with a combi rifle at this point. And you can use that as part of using uh, your group two orders to move the missile out of the point. They will mm -hmm. both shoot. He's not going to defend that point, but like... Can, wait, can Kiss even that see over there? could legitimately kill the, the data tracker. Don't think Kiss sees it. Yeah, no, I agree. Whatever. Uh, yeah, so submachine gun, why not? Three okay. shots. Oh, Zulu popped out. He's not doing the, the last minute thing. Uh, oh, it's uh, nope. range. So, bit misses. Uh, you miss, I think, with the yep. Barely. Um, and I saves him from crits. Uh, oh, he's not in cover, yeah. Of course. Uh, <laughs> It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's well, everything is awesome. <laughs> uh, let's see. Missile bro will move. 
and see if Clint sees it. Hi, Cat. Does. Maybe. Hopefully. My cat is demanding my attention. Oh, One moment. Uh, oh, the camel guy's prone. Mm -hmm. do, do, do. In that case, you can I change the direction of the missile bomb. No! Oh, it is not safe. Uh, you were so close to greatness. You can make it up there. Uh, but he's on the What is your goal? Just get, killing so him? Sideways right now, but... Yeah, well, should you look for a combi rifle? Take hey, your free you missile shots. Rifle. No. Is it a 24? No, it's zero range for you. Seven. Uh, this seven hits. Eight. And I'll shoot you back on a ten. <laughs> no, I can't go <laughs> yet. Okay. Um... <laughs> dun, 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 dun. I mean, certainly he's had some bad luck. He also made some bad plays based on erroneous information. Mm -hmm. Right. Yep. If he had a, a like cyber mask, he'd be maybe the Karate doesn't die that turn. Just gonna move I don't know. Board here. Yeah, I do not have the orders to do this. That's okay. okay. Does my Zulu Cobra see you? I Is think those. No, I don't think I see you because of the lip seal. Okay. And then I'll move again. So the question is, can Vulin get a major victory? He's got one oh, point for yeah. He's got one point for keeping his data tracker alive, assuming he survives. I'll reset. No, don't reset. Shoot him. Nope. Reset. If you if you get the reset here, you uh, can yeah, go get those points. Fine. Yeah, you're right. Nope. But the odds of you getting it's I'd rather kill he has a great chance. Group. He has he's the Zulu Cobra. He has plenty of people who can kill that Adarazza. That's not his problem. Right? Like he's got a number of uh, troops okay. right there who could just go do that job. Move. Uh to the very edge of where you can see. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Oh, does the Forbach not ha he only has a pistol? That's funny. <laughs> no, you're good there. Okay, and then he will dodge. Uh, right. three. Right. Just... Three inches. Right. Last order. Right. And last order over there. Uh, <laughs> fix that real quick. Move that. Uh, he's going to move. If he moves forward to here, he will see your auxilia. <laughs> Blood! Yes. Uh, Blood! So. <laughs> Here's the auxilia. Auxilia shoots him, tanks both chain rifles. <laughs> and kills him, yeah. I mean, based on how this game has gone, yeah. his goal is spite. We're not within eight. Not the biggest. Uh -huh. But it's probably in chain rifle range. Which channel of range is like half the board, it feels like sometimes. A little bit less than an auxilia. I'll shoot you on an 11, I'll dodge you on a 10. I'll just dodge. Heavy pistol. Get him. Yeah, I'll just lay down a couple of chains. No, pop, pop! Right? Okay, on a 10. No. I failed. Ha! Just... We shot him. <laughs> He's dead. Is that? Vengeance they for the can, they can bleed. Order to spend <laughs> on my lieutenant. <sighs> the funniest thing is, you know what the first order in Pano should be? Triangulate fire missile bot. <laughs> Kiss. You're gonna and then move on to the point. To see your mm -hmm. Zulu Cobra. Okay, I'll shoot uh, Dick with the uh, combi rifle. Okay, they will shoot you a bit with the SMG, Is this not the breaker one? With the ADHL. At least combi. Measured yeah, the just a combi rifle. Range. Oh, I dislike that one. No. Um, breaker is so, so good of a tool with strangler shots. fire. Be on the seven. Oh, I missed. Uh, two and a three should hit. Mm -hmm. ah, you're using Can he kill? Uh, if, you're, 
Can he bleed? What do you think? No? I mean, odds are yes. Nah, he's alive. No! He's not in cover. If you were in cover, I would say 100%. Uh, yeah. It's my turn. Uh, you have to get one point to win. <laughs> oh, I guess I do have a guy touching the thing in the middle. Yeah. Uh, what's the okay, you have... Well, he's got left because Pamela's kind of bloodied. Who's actually still alive? Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure if you just end the game right now, Pano wins 3 2. So, yeah, I got to Razi. He was also taking an order. So they can also, like, freely grab anything from the Panoply. Yep. Like, the Helic could run over there and do that. Is correct? <laughs> yeah. Are they with 12? Yeah, they are. They're not good at this. I mean, honestly, I would take the Karhu. Come around, push the button on the right. Uh huh. That gets me a point. Kill the designated target. Well, like you know, kill. Sorry, kill the missile bot. He probably has to do the missile first because the missile would see him coming around. Okay, so move up, kill the missile, push the button, kill the designated target. There's your five points. If if that's all you're going for. Yeah. Just need to kill this guy and maybe your designated target. Then we're all good. Open with does the first and reset. The question is, I don't think that matters. I do use my because just in case. I don't think he can get into his deployment zone with the number of orders he has left. He has four orders. So, but okay. he'd have to deal with the Dadarazi. And if he's dealing with the Dadarazi, he's under yeah. that repair and can be oblivioned again. Six orders for the car. Okay. I'd almost rather defers and just shoot and kill the Dadarazi. So we'll activate the yeah. car who does all the work. Here we go. And for six do, 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 do. Cool. Mm -hmm. well, any reaction? I don't think anybody sees that, right? Mucho macho nacho. Okay. I'd like a number one, the mucho macho nacho burger. Or the macho and junior burger. Testosterone again. curly fries or extra quadruple cheese dip. <laughs> I appreciate little things like that. <laughs> Did you ever watch Louis C.K. He does this thing about Cinnabon? Oh, I believe so. Yeah. Cool. I, Louis C.K. is a funny man. He is. Like, I got a Cinnabon at the airport I arrived at. It means I could just leave and go home and healthy food, but no. Okay, here's my shot. Five. Oh, he hit. So now... Thirteen crits. He hit better. Oh, he doesn't have cover. <laughs> I'm based just off the board. <laughs> as as I do. How many orders are left? You got three left. Yeah. Move button. So we'll then kill thing. I think it's move. No, I think it's move, kill, thing, and then move button. Because I think if he swings wide to the right. Uh, he's going to worry about bit and kiss maybe with the ADHL. <laughs> yeah. That was like the one piece of good luck that Rattler next had in my game against him yesterday as I shot what I thought was his Zhu Young lieutenant, but was in fact Sforza. Uh, <laughs> Got him, boys. With, with my tag. And uh, I fired three shots, and he fired one, and he glued me. Hey, <laughs> King of the Aardvarks. Yeah, you're coming up on the tail end here. Uh, Clint has had a bad run of some things. Uh, <laughs> Dude, Carhus are... An incredible profile. Like, when you look at how much this Werewalk has, it's got an incredibly deadly gun. BS-13, Mimetism, MSV-1, Climbing Plus, NCO. Does all the thing. Terrain total? They have terrain skill. I even noticed that. They're gross. They're really you know, good. And it has so many skills, you can't even see them all. Yeah, you gotta highlight it and scroll down. I have been on mute. Uh, I do think also, he has mines. you first. Huh? He also has Bits. mines. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm... AP mines. Oh, yeah. Kind of awkward, yeah. But yeah. Uh, well, then I'll just... Um, I think I can just stand back a bit and just see Bit. I'm happy with that. Okay, uh, Bit will dodge. And move six is a hell of a thing. Should be good range. There's the dodge. Three. Alright, that is a illegal. <laughs> I would shoot. I would have shot. Uh, 
Which ironically, well, that would have crit. No, that would have not quite crit. No. But the six and the nine both hit him and obliterate him. Goodbye. Um. I think a lot of Hold on, I gotta pick my new more internet. issues right now <laughs> are probably so, related to that they still have one of the most expensive get it. factions in terms of well, we'll see points um. per, per order. <laughs> well, activate Ikawa again. And at this point, we're just going to move six inches out here. Real tempted <clears throat> to shoot you with that stun pistol. I'd have tried Let's to get the one panoply first to see what you get. Um, shoot on like a two, or maybe a five. It'd be a five, yeah. yeah. Or I dodge. How many more? Orders I'm trying to think of what one. other things Morats are likely to get. Which I can. I guess that's Whatever. an interesting question of like, what do you think are are what okay. Morat's well, problems are? Like, because right they, now they have no hidden defense <laughs> camouflage. Okay. Right, that's their well, glaring weakness, I think. I don't crit you back. Yeah, that's uh, three saves against BT. You just crit him. He crit him with a stun pistol. Oh man. Ah, <laughs> uh, he's stunned. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Okay. Uh, well, that's awkward. <laughs> yep. Now well, what? It a little bit more awkward. So it's a 3 2 NO <laughs> win. Oh, man. That was stupid. That was great. <laughs> no. I mean, well, see, this is one of the things where with ITS, if I don't get to that there's point. literally no way, given he has. Person, so. Oh, no. He's got two more regular orders, right? All right. Get... He needs to move to person. And try to break the thing to move on to the middle or something. I don't know. No, he can he can move and shoot, use the first and move up, shoot the Dadarazi, kill it. We well, doesn't see the Dadarazi, does he? Oh, see, he's not prone. He sees him where he is. So we'll All right. Activate him. We're just going to move over to here where we can see your Dadarazi. All right. I'm just gonna spike some smoke. That means shoot you with my Spitfire. Okay. Here's my smoke. Six. Oh Jesus, that's a crit. Um, no, it's not. I don't think. Why not? You, seventeen is your crit. Yeah. Seventeen is crit. Still, yeah. Oh, they're fizz fourteen. Yeah, it's yeah. still good enough. Uh, but I still got the smoke. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which. Oh, and now the question is, can, <laughs> can you get? Get a little bit dicey. He's got what, two orders left. I don't think I don't think anyone is fat. Oh, he's lieutenant. Oh, you spent these lieutenant order. Never mind. Two yeah. Detecting the data tracker is one point. Two time moves. I don't think I don't think he can get more points. Move six, Cause... dodge two, move six, long range shotgun onto the TT. Targets. No, not the designated targets. The Teutonic Knight could get there to launch a uh, Panzerfaust at the designated target. Even because he dodges um, three. Like three two. Dodge. So yeah. move six, oh. dodge yeah. three, move six, Panzerfaust. Because uh, you have your data tracker left, right? And you killed more army points, so. Be very close. Um, but I, is there a chance for me to even get him? Do I have like some grenades I can lob at him? He can't really do anything. He. So this is sort of the interesting thing, like, as opposed to N three, uh, I can't. Where get the beat them by X, back. yeah. Getting rid of like I have it in this case it does not matter that Clint the has guy, that, yeah that, to try and just also touch the objective. That's true. I I Let's think try. why not? Huh? Or is it oh, this bridge has two states and they're both bridge. Oh, that's good. That's good. Do you care mm -hmm. if I delete it? Uh, yeah. Go ahead. I I think that. Factions can yeah. exist nowadays without camo. The, they upgraded uh, the Zerat going from N3 to N4 by giving him ODD. Probably. Um, <laughs> I think it is yeah, more uh, likely uh, that what you're looking for is some sort of midfield deterrent, so which I feel like the Morats don't have easy ways to do that since they don't get the same like robot availability and their warbands are uh, more expensive. Designated target will dodge. Um, I think I can just dodge myself. They could just bring back that weird core where you had like the Gakis and the and the uh, 
Oznaths yep. for for green orders. I made my dodge. But I'm uncertain okay, uh, if that is like the easiest way to do it. Just convert the irregular order. And let's see if we can move. Oh, we can oh uh, the, the dad could have oh, yeah. dodged. Oh, yeah, if you want to dodge before I move. I don't think that changes much. I think that, that one of their biggest weaknesses is that they don't have, like, the tech, um, right? That's... So, like, the tech oh. that other factions have, like MSV and stuff, they the, the closest thing, they have a Yaogats, which are very powerful. I don't know, I, I think that Morats are already yeah, pretty good. You can go either yeah, yeah. Well, just... yeah, I mean, to me, like I said, the, the one thing that sort of jumps out at me is something they don't have is camo and employment. I don't think they need that because they also have excellent AD yeah, options between the Ooh. the Raziat and the yeah uh, Whoa, that was uh, explosion time. guy. <laughs> that was so. Silly. What a wacky turn. Yes. <laughs> the 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 stun was like, chef kiss. <laughs> yeah. If he doesn't, because if he doesn't stun him, it ends up being a five, at least five two, if not five zero. Uh, yeah. Yeah. One hundred and forty six yeah. points left. Uh, <laughs> uh, I have 79. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> oh, man. So that's two points, and I have my data tracker still alive, so that's three points for me, and nobody controls the antenna. And I get zero points. Sad. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, I got very lucky with my Trinity and Feuerbach against the Sondala. That's that's true. That's true. Like I th I think that the odds were definitely that you were gonna kill the Karantage with that. Like a lot of that whole situation came down to Clint misunderstanding the data tracker thing. Because I think that if you were in your marker state, yeah. it's, it, everything's harder. Yep. Yeah. But it's definitely on odds that you kill him using Trinity because you have a very quality hacker. All three of them going through? On no, no, the... not in one go. Yeah. I'm saying that he had the orders and you couldn't run from it. Uh... Yeah, it should have taken him about three orders to kill you. Right. Yeah. And, and I... not one. Yeah. yeah. I think I had the orders left, but yeah. And also with the specular just getting blown up by the Kahu. Also, the invincible auxilia. Once again, oh. these fucking <laughs> side guys just tanking the armor saves of shotguns. Yes. Uh, so of course, you got lucky with the crit on the HVT. Sure, sure. Um, I, I had a lot of crits actually. Um, at yeah. the beginning, I like started with two crits. It's it's really funny that like. It ended up being so close after the the first few sweeps, just because of some like wacky interactions. <laughs> like if you'd have killed the DT, this is this would have been a tie. Is this that's the funniest thing? Is that if you no, just no, he he got the thing, so I didn't get the points there. Ah, uh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. So it's three zero, um, but the fact that it was remotely close, yeah, was was yeah. silly. I mean, I could have failed just the dodge there and then get killed by the mine running in. Yeah. Yeah. But then, yeah, it would just... Yeah, and you could have had a good chance to kill my designated target. Oh, one of the things that I noticed... I was so sad, Clint, when you ran your missile bot to your right. Because if you had gone to the left, there was just a long fire arc that just seized the person. Yeah. Oh, like up here? No, no, just on the ground. No. To your left. Yeah. Like it, it shoots past the current. I can't make a. I can't show oh, you. Go to I where your HVT is I could see and it. look down that line. Yeah. I was less concerned about an isolated diversion. Well, it's more that he. You, you, you take the points away from him. Is what it exactly. was. I still don't think that would have been enough, would it? No. Mm -hmm. But like it's just well, a combination. It's it's the step in the direction. I think. I mean, it would have been like 50 points le uh, less for me, and then if the cow also died, he would have actually had more le um, sure. left than me. Sure. I, I I was thinking more he could see this way and this way. I get way. you. Yeah. All right, well, that was that was a wacky game. Excellent. We have a, a Pano win, three to what? Zero. zero. Three to zero. Thanks for rubbing that in. I mean... <laughs>
It's my literal purpose on this, but also I just couldn't remember. I wasn't sure if you got two or one or something. All right, well, we're going to cut the stream there. Uh, everybody, thanks for, for tuning in. Yes, <laughs> Anybody wants to say bye. Bye, guys. And thank you, Lobo, for standing in. And, oh, I'll, I'll address King of Ardrax's thing real quick. Um, yeah, I, I don't think that they're bad either. Uh, the, the big thing is that... It just requires you to buy into their strategy of, like, we are tougher than our opponents. They gave the Suryaths so much love, and I think that that unit is the backbone of that faction. Um, in terms of, like, it leads fire teams and has powerful weapons. And then it has, um... I always take him as a lieutenant when I'm playing Tano. Like, good martial arts and, and AD options. He's super good. I think that if there's and anything that that army wants, it's just game. one more way to get orders, uh, how many or left? maybe so, even yeah. like even a mine layer. I don't think you want to give the Morris themselves camo because I think that that is too outside of what their faction identity is about, where they're just like we kind of stand and fight. Whereas I think that um, you could add more ways to protect their deployment zone. Because a lot of theirs are just put up an arrow piece and, and hope it works well. But that's my two cents on it. I think the faction is in a very good spot right now. And I'm excited to see what they do with the remake because normally that just means new and fun tools. So okay. we'll see. Awesome. Thank you for yeah. yeah, thanks for I'll see you guys later. On the show and right. and Thank you again. Yeah, have a good one. Blasting my shit off the board. That was